Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Rab here, and I'm doing a new segment in my channel called, uh, awesome, I'm still thinking of a name, but, oh no, I know what the game, I know what the thing is going to be called, it's going to be called Gun Informer, and this is when I'm going to pick one game, uh, one gun, whenever I just feel like doing it, and I'm going to go over it pretty much in a match, so this is Domination at Stormfront. And today's, as you can tell by the title, is the bison, or the bison, or whatever it is. It's B-I-Z-O-N, not S-O-N. And it's this class. I do have a few attachments on it, as you can see, and a lot of stuff to it. But overall, I mean, I like this gun. I've used it before, and I'm not going to focus on capturing these flags, but, just, you know. But, with the right attachments, it's really good at far range. But with the wrong ones, it can't be that great. So, depending on what kind of attachments you use, it can really help you, or it can really hurt you. See, close range is not that bad either, but depending on the attachments you've used, it can be really useful or very unuseful. In my opinion, I use this gun usually for medium range. Not really like that far away, but not like this up close. Kind of like right by those stairs, like that. That would be a, okay. Ooh. That would be an okay place to use it. And if you use the rapid fire attachment, which I have put onto this gun, you can see that it'll make you better at close range. But then ultimately, when I put on the um, I, um, I don't know what that is. Uh, when I put on, uh, the middle attachment, that increased my long range, I think, so, it kind of cancel each other out. See what I mean? And plus, if you can see them in time, this gun is great. And my actual online, uh, thing... I, oh, sorry, I'm trying to think of thing. The actual online profile, I have a Bison, but I have a tracker site. So, overall, not a very good choice, but, again, depending on the attachments. So, obviously, I'm going to focus on the long-range attachments and stuff like that. So, like, that little, uh, front of the gun attachment that I'm using right now clearly is in that category. So, again, it's going to be pretty much, this gun is very good at pretty much any range, and like I've said over, well, like a thousand times, it's good for anything, depending on the attachments. So, if you're very good at fighting close range, give it a, well, plus it also go, it has to go with the gun that you're using as a secondary. I don't have a secondary gun, as you could see when I went to it, because it's just centered around this one, but I would go with a pistol with a tack knife, or if you want to go primary, that actually, mm, pistol with a tack knife would just be good if you're close range, um, but, you know, pistol, tack knife, don't use a silencer if you're going to be good at close range. That's for if you want to go stealthy. Close range is when you just go like insane on them all. See what I mean? You don't have very good aim, especially it also especially depends on the sight you use. The sight I have on is not very accurate. It's the war cry sight, and it's pretty good, but it's not that great. I would use this one more for close range, this site. But overall, I love this gun. And I give it... Uh, three and a half actual bisons out of five. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. Now I'm just going to kind of play the game, like, for real. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of the class.
Um, alright, so I just m finished making my clan, and Clicky29 is all angry because we are going to each make a clan. What the heck? Hey, that's me, no way. Oh, I just disappeared. Well, he's mad at me because he made a clan, and then I made a clan, and he thought we were going to share a clan, and we are for, like, videos and stuff, when we're on at the same time. But there's going to be times when I'm not even on, and he's on, and then I'm going to want to be on my clan, and I don't want to have to wait for him. So, either way, I made the clan, and it is obtained underscore killers with a lowercase z, everything else. Hello. Oh, that, didn't really, that didn't really end very well. Jesus. Oh, wow. Thanks, teammate. Alright guys, so that's how we're going to end it. I'm going to show you my clan name first, though. And we did win that. But, uh... Probably a headshot right off the bat. So yeah, Bison, I give 3.5 out of 5 stars. Sorry, 3.5 out of 5 actual Bisons. Now I'm just going to show you my clan, because that's important. Sorry, it's taking long, guys. And, um, so I kind of surprised you guys with the, uh, well, at least I hope I did, with the Pokemon Rumble Blast. That is to make up for me missing walkthrough Wednesdays, and I kind of like playing that with you guys, so I might do it again. But I just come down here to Barracks, if it would listen to me. Barracks. Hey, why is this off? Okay. So, yeah. It's obtained killers like that. Clan level one. Don't have anybody with me. So feel free to join at any time. I don't know how I do that. Leave a description. I mean, leave a, com leave a comment in the description below. Oh, just, Jesus Christ. Leave a comment below whether you want to join or not, and or how to do it. I need help. So, one last look at the thing. Obtained killers. Capital O, lowercase obtained. Underscore, capital killer, lowercase z. Um, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Peace out, and I will see you guys next time.